the poppy, a powerful symbol engraved on the minds of few and worn on the lapels of many. The most iconic image of the First World War, symbolic of faith, hope and remembrance. But in the 21st century, has the real significance of that remembrance been forgotten? I bought my poppy again this year, the same as I do every November. But this year, I found myself asking, why? Why is it that I wear this particular symbol for each Remembrance Day? Well, that's what you do, isn't it? To remember the dead soldiers. But that's a generic answer. It doesn't tell you anything about the symbol of the poppy, what it represents, and what perhaps it has come to represent for us today. So this year, I'm making a promise to myself. I'll wear my poppy, but only if I really understand its significance. So this documentary is going to be a journey of exploration in order to understand the original meaning and intention of the poppy, but also what it has become today in terms of a fashion accessory, in terms of a misinterpreted symbol, and how something which began as an utterly uncontroversial symbol of remembrance has become so controversial for us today. Poppies grew well in Flanders fields, particularly where the dead were buried. The burials churned up the soil and the bodies themselves made a rich fertilizer, perfect conditions for growing the poppy. And this was noticed by many people, particularly in early 1915, a Canadian Lieutenant Colonel surgeon called John McRae, who wrote about it what was to become one of the most famous poems of the war. The poem usually known as In Flanders Fields, in which McRae recognised that the poppies mark our place. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, and between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly scarce heard amid the guns below. McRae's poem was sent back to England and published in the magazine Punch. It was so popular it spread around the world. In November 1918, just as the war was ending, it was read in New York by a very remarkable lady called Moyna Mitchell, a college professor who was then working for the American YMCA. And Moyna Mitchell was so inspired by McRae's poem and the symbol of the poppy that she took it upon herself to make this the symbol for remembrance of the war within the United States. Moyna Mitchell's campaign spread from the United States to France and then in 1921, Field Marshal Earl Haig, the president of the British Legion, the man who had commanded the great armies for Britain, on the Western Front in the First World War, agreed to make the poppy the official symbol in Britain also. And for the 1921 Remembrance Day, three years after the end of the war, the poppy appeared officially as the symbol of the British Legion and of remembrance. By 1933, the demand for poppies for Remembrance Day was so great that the poppy factory where some of them worked, had to move to larger premises. And today, the poppy factory produces each year almost 40 million poppies for sprays, for wreaths, individual poppies sold for Remembrance Day uh, in order to provide support for ex-soldiers who need their help. We owe such a debt to, to those ex them service lads, men and women, for what they did for us. Well, it means, means to me remembering all our friends and comrades who lost their lives. I had two or three lads with me, they, were, they just got shot in the stomach like whatever happened to them, whether they died or whether they survived, I don't know. But I know the one he wouldn't survive the way he was completely blown up like that. Well, next year, it is me 30 years next year, collecting for the Royal British Legion Poppy. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. So it seems that the symbolism of the poppy does have meaning for people today. But some events of the last few years 
have made that hard to believe. Many feel that these extremists have used the symbolism of the poppy and of Remembrance Day to demean soldiers who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan. Do they understand that the symbolism of the poppy is to mark the end of the First World War, a war that it was hoped would end all wars? It would seem not. Not only do people get confused about what the purpose of wearing a poppy is about in commemoration, it seems our society is being distracted by celebrities and by diamante. Uh, fashion poppies are appearing, glittering poppies, uh, poppies which appear as fashion statements rather than the simple poppy, which reaffirms a support for a cause and the memory and commemoration of the dead. Being here has helped me remember why I wear my poppy this year, as I do every year. Not out of social pressure, not because of celebrity endorsement, and not for the sake of it. Today, I will wear my poppy, as I do every year, in remembrance of those who, for our tomorrow, gave their today.